Welcome to True Parents Way series on the Chanogok Constitution. I'm Tyler Hendricks. This is session 19, The Path to Nationhood. A federation is a form of government that shares power between a central authority and its constituent units. Our constitution is the law of a federation, the family federation. It distributes power to the individual, the family, tribe, nation, region, and world. Thus far, we have discussed the world-level government located at H.J. Chenwan. And now we're going to address the self-governing regional and national units. The regional unit coordinates and supports national units and provides status reports to the global Cheongwan executive. The regional unit, though, is not the sole source of information to the global level. The Guiyuan, the legislature, and the Gongwan, the media and research, are other conduits. The national unit governments parallel the H.J. Chenwan in that they each have a Supreme Council and five wands, but they also have an office supporting heavenly tribal messiah activities. They are led by national leaders with national messiahs serving as consultants. The Guiyuan determines the qualifications for regional presidents and national messiahs. True parents appoint regional presidents after consultation with the international president. Regional presidents have four-year terms and may be reappointed twice. Again, not a lifetime term. True parents also appoint national messiahs who occupy one of the four Chenogok offices that have no term limits. The national units Liyuan determines the qualification for their own nation's leader. Appointment from among qualified candidates takes place in consultation with the regional president, international president, and global Supreme Council, with the true parents having final approval. Each national unit determines their national leader's term length, but his or her maximum time in office is 12 years. Based on this chapter and the Constitution's Article 15, we can sketch the path to nationhood in Chanel Guk. Article 15 states that management of public assets, quote, must comply with the laws and ordinances of the nation in which the applicable public asset is located. We surmise that, in fact, all activities of national units must harmonize with the laws of their nation. On that foundation, they can work with that nation's governors and legislators to develop national laws consistent with the Chanelguk Constitution. From Article 15, we infer that national leaders and regional presidents would jointly confer with the Zhengwan, Jiwan, and Supreme Council on how their host nation can qualify for Chanoguk nationhood for final approval by true parents. This concludes session 19 of our Chanoguk Constitution series. Thanks so much for listening.